Okay, so guess below in the comment section how old he is. I'm gonna give you guys three seconds. Go down now. Three, two. I'm like 17. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, which means, uh, which means the curse of Larry Wheels in the past. <laughs> but beware. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with Jacob from Czech Republic. And uh, we have squats on the menu. Now this whole week it's been full of yards. I, 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 saw, I, saw, I saw benches from yesterday. I'm kind of scared. I'll try every day. You know, look, I'm kind of scared too. You look a giant. Like six, <laughs> I'm six foot four actually. Six foot four. Yeah, I've got, I've got a knee like six, six, shoes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, a lot it, of it high, helps. High heels. Right. So, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Usually, if we're here at Strong Gym HQ, that's where we, are, we have the racks that can be moved anywhere you want, which are really great because you can you don't need a monolift, and typically only in a monolift can you really adjust the hands and because the, they have the harness on the inside wherever you want. But with these racks, you can put them a little bit in, a little bit out, so you have that perfect, comfortable hand adjustment placement. We don't have that luxury today, so we're making do with a fine road rack. Uh, we are going to stick to my program today, so thank you for compromising and jumping with what I'm doing. It's fun. I'm glad to be here. Awesome. And uh, we're warming up. We have 55 pound bar, knurling all across a beautiful bar. So it shouldn't, I say that because when I had no weight on it, it was rolling off my back, but it should not move on your back at all. It should be like glued to your track. Uh, yeah, so let's get to work. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't actually have a pound plate. <laughs> we only kilos. American fans, what can you tell us about yourself? About myself? Then you have, yeah, then you have a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, uh, well many people know Anabolic Horse. You, used to, you had a battle with. Yes. We're kind of the same thing, like we do powerlifting, some bodybuilding, strongman, we combine it all. That's why we look up to you, because we do the same shit. But yeah, I make YouTube videos, fitness content, kind of similar to you, with like the health amount of weights you lift, but yeah the same thing as you. So would you say in Czech Republic you and Anabolic Horse are kind of like arch nemesis? Like rivals? What well, kind of? We actually bit. had a battle. We, we, we had a strength wars okay. against each other. Okay. That motherfucker won. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna get him one day. But yeah, we're like, like a friendly rivalry between us, you know. We push to each other but it's fine. But we're friends. We're friends. We have like dozens of videos together. So we're friends. So I'm gonna I want him to come here also to live with you. Of course. Which sucks is that he doesn't speak English well. And I, I wanna I wanna embrace him to teach, to learn to speak English. Because, oh, because, because, because he could be a global. He could make it global. Like he's strong, he's tall, he's huge. Like it sucks that he doesn't speak English. But yeah, we're from friends and we make dozens of videos together. So hi Anna Blogos. <laughs> well, I've only met a couple guys from Czech, as far as I know. And are you all just huge giant monsters? Because yeah, you actually you saw um, the Golan. Golan. I Golan check yeah. as well. Yeah. He's from Prague. You he are all huge giant Prague. monsters. Actually. He's like half Russian or something, but he, yeah. he lived in Prague. Okay. Prague. So what yeah. do they feed you guys in Czech? Because this is not know. normal. Well, there are actually really many strong guys in Czech Republic. Let's see. So yeah. Actually. I don't know. I don't know why, but in Czech Republic, Czech Republic, many people drink beer. 
Maybe it's the case, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't drink beer, but many Czech guys do. Okay. okay. Maybe the ones that don't turn out to be giants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I should go to Czech Republic because that's probably where the first superheroes are ever going to be. Well, you definitely <laughs> should visit the Czech Republic. Oh, like, there are so many fans there. I they will be to. thrilled to see you. And I'm speaking to your channel now. Thank you guys <laughs> for watching my channel. I don't know if you guys understand anything we're saying. But, uh, I don't think English is a common language to be spoken in Czech. But well, many people speak English in Czech in, in, Except for anabolic horse, many people understand. <laughs> but we're going to put some stars there. We're going to put some stars there. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, well, do you have... Uh, what are your best three lifts? Um, Swap and sell it. Well, I'm going to say kilos. Sure. But uh, deadlift is 350. Okay. Bench is like 220. Like okay. dead stuff. Or, I mean, past, past bench. And squat in reps, it was 325. Without reps, it's like 290. I have really poor mobility. It looks good so far. Huh? We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I, I change to, I do safety squat because it feels better. You know, I can go deeper. But I haven't done just scores like these in a couple of months. So I will see, we'll see. Maybe I'll try hit PR. We'll okay. see. Okay, okay. We have a lot of PRs this week already, so <laughs> if we can add you to the list, even better. Yeah. It's a good That's week it. for that so far. Yeah, it's a great week. Don't use uh, weightlifting shoes, right? Never. Never. Um, I've never felt comfortable. I don't feel planted in them. Yeah. Because I feel like they're always too narrow for my feet. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm on stilts. Yeah. But on long way, I actually feel better with weightlifting shoes. Have you tried? I have. Yeah. Same issue. I, I don't have the stability. No. Especially when I go for the press, I end up stumbling all over. Yeah. I've given it like two or three sessions. It may not be enough. Because mm -hmm. it's a skill, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, to lift and weightlifting shoot. It doesn't come like immediately. Yeah. It takes time to get used to it. Yeah. But it helps me with long lifts. Kind of. But yeah. I like. You're like 200, 205? I've done 202. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I haven't been able to train many strongman lifts because of arm wrestle. Yeah. The arm wrestle, it's extremely bicep intensive, just that strongman. Yeah, sure. The Atlas Stone and the log lift, especially the log clean and press. Have you, have you done a uh, uh, Atlas Stone after your injury? After. Uh, <laughs> no, actually. I haven't gone heavy since. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I haven't, yeah. I haven't mean, turned off. Yeah. But also, um, I've had so many injuries in powerlifting already. Mm, yeah. And I know starting as a strong man is mm. even more an injury prone sport. Yeah. Where arm wrestling on the other side, it, the injuries are not as common. Mm. They're there, of course, like the elbow related injuries, perhaps, maybe torn bicep, mm. maybe. But in strongman, I mean, everyone tears a bicep in strongman. Yeah. Now everyone gets hurt in strongman every year, it seems. And do I want to like a, start a career with that uh -huh. after I already just had like a decade in powerlifting? Yeah. Not so much. But so in powerlifting, you've done like everything you wanted to achieve, right? Yes. You are like three, uh, three time world champion. And three different three weight classes. classes. Yeah. yeah. So my hunger for powerlifting records is yeah. gone, really. Yeah. Uh, the only place I can go and probably now would be like the best total overall yeah. in super heavyweight, which is like no weight limit, which would be going after a guy like um, uh, like Ray Williams, for example. Actually, mm -hmm. in Czech Republic, we have Petr Petraš, if you know him. Uh, he had an all-time uh, uh, all -time world, world record. Okay. Yeah, I don't know in which lift? Oh, all lifts. All lifts. All lifts. All lifts. Okay. He was uh, the, the, he had the heaviest uh, of all, but it was like for two months and then some, some guy uh, mm -hmm. did more. Okay. But in, in Chicago, we have a like, really strong, strong uh, pilot. I'm going to show him later. Okay. He's yeah. really strong. He's like 470 squat. Oh, wow. That's huge. Um, but he's like 170 kilos when he... That's Still super heavy. <laughs> and like two, 280 bench and 400 deadlift, I believe. Something like that. Like really strong. But he's huge. Like, 170 is really huge. Oh, yeah. Like, I feel small next to him. That's mental. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like 140? I'm like 133, 132, something like that. It's pretty huge, too. Yeah. But I, I'm gonna, I don't wanna go over 140. I feel like I feel best in, at 130. I have the best like 125 to 130, yeah. around that range. But I'm gonna I need to cut it a little. 
feel like I'm, I'm just bloated. You know? That's too bad for you. The bad will do that. The food here is too good. Alright, let's hit it. <laughs> you gonna do sets with these? Sets with this? Um, oh. I'm gonna start with this okay. first set. I'll, bu I'll build up. I'll do a set uh, 12 here. I'll add probably 10 kg. 12 reps with these? Well, I, I want to. <laughs> this week has been pretty brutal. My CNS, my lower back. I don't even know why my lower back is sore right now. I don't know what yeah. I did yesterday. This here was okay. Yeah, it's bench. What did it? Bench day. <laughs> 23 reps. Did you today. arch too much? No. Maybe I did. It is sore. Like, <laughs> or maybe it's uh, down. It was from 200. Deadlifts. Oh, maybe. 200 yeah. for 23 reps. Yeah. That was shocking for me as well. And the day before, I did uh, 330 or 340? Yeah, uh, 340. 340 I did for yeah. 11. I need yeah. to my lower back to feel it. Yeah. <laughs> but but you've been hitting many PRs lately. I have. I could rep PRs. Rep here exactly, yeah. uh, and it's purposely because when I go for singles, triples, I get injured. Yeah. It's like I'm rolling the dice. Like, am I gonna get injured this time or not? Yeah. You know, it's just so much load, especially when um, I'm pushing so much more than my frame wants to handle. Unless I get heavier, and I add more um, muscle to my frame, it gets, gets increasingly risky to hit PR to this body weight. Um, so that's why I've been focused on that. It's, not, it's a, not injury free, but it's a lot less risky hitting 10 reps, 20 reps. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, the more reps you do, the less likely you're going to get injured. And I've always been wondering, like, when you hit like some PR lift, you use headphones. And what do you listen to actually? Well, I've never, I've never seen like, what do you listen during that lift? I've never seen it. I've gotten, I mean, you hear it now, you don't hear any tunes or yeah. anything fun. It's yeah. because of copyright, right? Thanks, YouTube. Uh, <laughs> when I did used to use headphones, I listened to Hate Breed, Death Metal, something extremely loud, high yeah. energy, because you feed off the vibe music gives you, right? So it really helps me. It, it, it makes all the difference. Yeah. You know, especially if the rest of the day you're not hearing music and you only play it during that one set. Oh yeah. You know, it's just like adrenaline. Yeah. It's like instant adrenaline. You don't even need like the ammonia. Spot. I mean, if you add the ammonia too, it's really something else. It becomes really something yeah. unique. I do have like some specific songs that I use for my PRs. It just works every time. It really helps. It really helps. But I don't use ammonia. It doesn't really help. Yeah. Like, I can't focus when I. For me, like how I'm feeling right now, like I'm a bit lethargic, taking long to get warmed up. Uh, CNS is probably really taxed from all the PR attempts this week. Yeah. Successful PRs. But on a day like this, I won't use it today. But in a, for example, I did like how I'm feeling today, I'll use ammonia. Because it wakes you up. Yeah, yeah. It makes you feel fresh, like you feel brand new, you're wide awake. Mm. Like you just had a gallon of coffee. Yeah, some uh, of you guys use coffee. like the slap. Yeah, yeah. The, the slap can help too. Yeah. There, these are, there are multiple methods to get amped up when you're feeling like not your best, or you're feeling like, you know, lethargic. Yeah. Slapping works, slapping the back of my neck kind of wakes me up. Yeah. Uh, the ears as well. And yeah, I think Dor does the ears. Yeah. Um, ammonia, things like that. You know, grunting, like splitting out some. Ah, yeah, just get into some, get into yeah some, all these yeah. things make all the difference if you're really feeling 
like you're dragging your feet, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, first set. Yeah. First set. Is that why you always slap me? <laughs> <laughs> I slap you so I can get hyped up. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like disturbingly quiet. Right, yeah, right. During minutes of the class. Yeah. Quiet. You could have said something to him, like scream at him or something. Oh, I was yeah. mentally like with <laughs> <laughs> But actually, uh, during the battle with Hannibal Lake, I was like, your lungs definitely hit PR that day. Oh, uh, yeah. I saw it like an uh, ambulance uh, yeah. call that day. What do you mean? Yeah. I but couldn't catch my breath. But you won, so yeah. that's what matters. You don't look. I don't look back at that day and think. How tired I was. Yeah. Think about winning. But I also think about how tired I was. <laughs> <laughs> that, but that comes after. <laughs> what happened to my weeks? <laughs> well, actually, I want to try uh, classic physics uh, this year. <laughs> I want to try. Do you really? Okay. Yeah, I really want to try it. I, I've never had a diet in my life. And I really want to cut it. All the fat, all the water. I want to try it. You know. have a good foundation. You have the calves, number one. It's Most important thing. But I actually started training them. And it, sucks. You. it sucks. But I need to train them before my leg day, not after. Before when I have energy and all that. After yeah. I'm like, I was gone. It's true. It sucks. Hit a double biceps, let's see it. What biceps? Okay. It's just, I don't know. I have small arms. I have like good chest, kind of back. But I'm, I'm going to try. I'm not like planning to win pro card and all that. Like you try bodybuilding right. or something like that. I'm going to try it. See how it looks on stage, you know, posing, vacuum, and all that. Just try it. You enjoy then, the process. Yeah. Seeing and yourself get super shredded. Yeah. Your face slimming out. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Yeah. Like I love lifting weights, like heavy, which uh, you can't really do when you do bodybuilding. Yeah. Like strictly bodybuilding. For sure. So I'm gonna try it and then go back to powerlifting or strongman. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Okay. So you hit 12. Yeah. So. so you hit 20. Funny, I'm <laughs> I'd love to see that. I, I don't know I, I, how many I've done with this. Because when, when it comes to squats, it really sucks uh, with your breath. Yes. It is just worst. I mean, bench, you can't really do like 20 and 30 reps. Fine. Yeah. But 30 reps for squats, it sucks. Like for your breath. It's horrible. Yeah. Like, I forgot to take the in today. <laughs> I had it, I read it, I read the <laughs> damn container cluttering. <laughs> oh, great, today gets easy. Squat this is good, yeah. yeah. I forgot. <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I'll try how many I can do. Yeah, see what you can do, man. I'm here, which means, uh, which means the curse of Larry Wheels is in effect. <laughs> but beware. <laughs> All right. You better. Jacob. Oh, yes. All right. You're in that groove now. Three, four, five, six, seven. In that groove now. Eight. Yep. Nine. In that groove. Come on. Ten. Yep. Beautiful. Nice. Those are really clean reps. You know, honestly, that was my PR. Was it? Like, I swear it was my PR. Oh, yeah. Because I don't do squats for reps. Always doing fives and under? Yeah, like five. Like, above five, it's too much cardio. <laughs> but the heart needs a little push fine. every now and then, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's that great. It's really good belt. Oh, thank really you. Good. You can find it on plxl.com, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh... A natural testimony. He's not sponsored? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> so, figure we'll jump a 10. I'll try, I'll try. Go for eight. Yeah, I could do like two more, but I would, I would be done for the day. Yeah. So I had like 10, I can do more. And that's the thing, guys. When you have more than one top set for your workout, 
If you burn out and rep on the first set, you're not doing those other two sets or however many you have left. Always leave on that first working set, two, three reps in the tank. And if it says eight and you went a bit too heavy, you did six. Don't force that eight rep. Just lower the weight, do something comfortable. Otherwise, you're missing out on all that good volume work that helps build that foundation for the one, three, and five max PRs. Uh, like I did 12, probably could have pushed for 15 or 20, but then I'd be done for the workout. That would be it. I would not have any energy to do anything else. So like he said, two more reps, he would have been done for the day. So I still feel great. Uh, I'm still gonna do two more sets. I'll try it with a 10. Uh, I'll try eight. Breathing still challenge. That's, otherwise, I would do 10, but I know if I do 10, I'm like, yeah. For 20 minutes, so. It's terrible, because you need to like, <laughs> we breathe in, and then don't breathe, just wait. Yes. It sucks. That's the thing about squats, managing the breathing is very tough, because you, get, you have to get the brace from your, you need to have an intra-abdominal brace, breathe into your diaphragm and brace. And to do that, you need a lot of oxygen for each rep, to have that strong brace and spring out of the hole. Uh, if you're going significantly lighter, you're doing bodybuilding style of reps, it's different. You don't need a huge intra-abdominal brace every single rep. You can get by with a mild contraction and focus more on just squeezing your quads, your glutes, and everything else. You're not lifting to just move the weight from point A to B. So, squatting like this, like a power lifter, it's really taxing the lungs. Yeah. Yeah, because in bodybuilding, they do a lot of stuff like isolated. Right. They don't use that core that much. That's exactly. But in powerlifting, if you breathe out, on, on this position, when you breathe out, it's oh, yeah. the way you get injured. You, know? you get injured, your lower back will take too much load, because yeah. this brace is what protects your lower back. And as you mentioned, they do isolation work. So, sorry, to keep their waist small, they purposely yeah. don't do the intra-abdominal brace, wear big, thick belts, lift super heavy on the squat and deadlift. Otherwise, look, you're 6'4", 134, my waist is bigger than his. That's from a decade. Of, I don't have, I have really, really wide. Oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. It's really wide. It's pretty good, actually. Mine's even wider, I guess. You have a good six-pack, too. Yeah. It's, it's symmetrical. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, it sucks. When, I, when I'm bulking, I have like a really huge hat, a six-pack. <laughs> That's, that's great. That's a great problem. You make it sound like it's something bad. Yeah. That's a great problem to have. I, I hold like water on my legs and head. But six pack is like year round. Hmm. Don't you just hate him, Adam? Yeah, I do hate him. <laughs> yeah, you remember it. When you're wrapping the knee, always below this teardrop muscle here or you'll trap the muscle and it won't contract properly. Just wrap around the joint. And as Sharif just demonstrated, leave a little slack in the final wrap so you can comfortably pull it through. Preferably, you have like a wrench or something. We do have a wrench actually. Yeah, I shouldn't use it. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes, it sometimes it sucks with the, you know? You need a proper wrench, otherwise if the teeth aren't Yeah, deep sharp and, enough. Yeah. yeah. It'll just slip right out. Let's see it. Also. Yeah, of course. I don't actually use reps at all. Like, uh, okay. I've done it like three times. Okay. So, these Change are things. I know, but it, you gotta get used to it. Yeah. Like, if you put them on the first time, you, you, you're not gonna lift more. Yeah. And it's the same with the suit. Yeah. I mean, I mean you're, gonna, you're not gonna lift more with the suit right. immediately. You gotta get used to it. But, uh, these are very light, which is good because they won't feel vastly different from squatting in these sleeves. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's it. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Definitely. 
Or you have that number two in you, but. Yeah. Suppose you want to get scared in this yet, right? Uh, we, we're gonna do one more set, right? Yeah. yeah okay. It's so maybe the last one. I'll go do it like, like, until I die. Oh yeah. <laughs> Eight reps or death, one or the other. <laughs> oh injury. <laughs> oh yeah. <that's> good. <laughs> And what, was, what was your worst injury? What would you buy, sir? Yeah, because it couldn't be repaired 100%. Repaired at all. <laughs> and my left bicep looked so good too before it happened. <laughs> Had to be the left. Could have been the right, it would have been fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Thanks. So we'll go to. We're, we're going to remove. We're going to remove a 10 and put a 20 on. So this actually will be 85. Here's the 55 pound bar. Maybe a slightly more actually. This is 44, right? Yeah. So it's probably a little more like 590. We'll do the math properly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wondering what are your plans for this year, like as a competition wise? I can only plan, only set my plans until uh, about April, yeah. which is uh, another round my second super match, as you can imagine. Uh, with who to be determined, but that's in late April. As far as strongman, powerlifting, nothing planned. I will be at the Arnold Sports in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, my coach is actually competing there, John Gaglione. And um, I'll just be attending, but I won't be competing in the competition. How about yourself? How about you? Uh, I want to try the classic physique this year. Okay. And probably strongman next year. I did a first strongman competition last year. I was like fifth in a like national national competition. But I'm not used to it, you know. Yeah. I'm not used to all these all these exercises, so I gotta get used to it. But it was good. I enjoyed it more than uh, than uh, powerlifting, actually. It was way more fun, and people were more engaged. Yeah. Like powerlifting, uh, the fans. I mean, only really understand powerlifting is gonna enjoy it. Yeah. But strongman is for every every other people, any other people. That's right. Like, cause you know you lift cars and log lifts, and it looks heavier Absolutely. than anything else. And it's more of a race. Yeah. To finish than it is uh, with one rep. Yeah. And also, there's that danger aspect to strongman because there really are no spotters yeah. in strongman for the log clean press, for example or for like a farmer's walk. So the fans, the audience watching, they're not hoping for something bad to go wrong, <laughs> but they know that something could go wrong. Yeah. And then there's no one there to save them. <laughs> so, this is way more enjoyable for Yes. For, and it makes all that more exciting. Yeah. You know, where there's danger, there's fun, right? And in powerlifting, it's like a very controlled environment yeah. with the straps and the rack and six spotters all around you. So it just makes it a little bit less Exciting, yeah. I think, for the audience. Not to mention that in so many head to head. So you have two players going against each other at the same time, almost always. Yeah, yeah. Which I think um, really ups the ante as opposed to powerlifting, where it's one person at a time. Yeah. You know, maybe they have that 60, 60 second time limit, but in strong man, like when you like, okay, who's gonna finish first? Who's gonna do more reps than the other? And it's like at the same time. Think about that. It just feels more like a combat. Sport. Yeah. I enjoyed when it was like after Bjornsson and Eddie Hall against each other. It was yeah. really good. They were really competitive. My favorite is um, uh, Kukowski and Thor. When they did the medley to put it on top of the house. So oh, yeah. like, and they were moving, I swear, every single step was identical. Yeah. Like how they grabbed the weight, how they picked it was like, it was so strange. Yeah. It was like a mirror version of itself. So stuff like that was really fun to watch. But half Thor is good right now. He's like 140. He was really good, like really healthy. Oh yeah, he's... Like he used to be 205, I believe. Yeah. Really I saw him when he was 205 too. Yeah. The thing about half Thor is now he has a kid, right? Yeah. And it's great that he's ready to retire strong, man. Be healthy for his child. Yeah. Watch his kid grow, spend time with his kid. Right. Being 205 kid, what's his life expectancy, right? Yeah. I mean, it's extremely unhealthy. And uh, I'm glad that he made that turnaround. Which a huge positive because he's doing really well for the boxing yeah. and all. And yeah, he looks better. He wants to get through out of it too. Yeah. I bet he, he feels way better. Oh yeah. yeah. And he's still super strong. You can still pull 320 any day of the week, you know. But he's like 208? Two, oh, two seven, yeah, 208, yeah. Amazing. That's high. That's high. That's high. <laughs> and oh, Chuck man. guys as well. Yeah, he's too. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Oh, 
felt okay, actually. Yeah. And it means oh, you are strong as fuck. In Czech. <laughs> but, so, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do I? Huh? I don't it was know actually good. It was actually good. <laughs> yeah, we have one one letter in Czech language that any other languages don't have. Which and it's it's Z. Z. Yeah. No. Z. Or like G and J together. No, it's like Z. Huh? A G R. J. Kind of. J. <laughs> like J. We are the only language that has this letter. I don't know why. Like no no one no other. Uh, countries can pronounce it. It's z, like Czech. like Zezicha. Uh, Zezicha. Yeah, it, it's it's really Zezicha. tough to pronounce it. Zezicha. But it was pretty good. The Czech sentence was pretty good. Oh, comment below if it was actually pretty good. <laughs> but you might be no, biased. Really, really, it was. It was surprised. <laughs> awesome. Uh, okay, so guess below in the comment section how old he is. I'm gonna give you guys three seconds. Go down now. Three, two. Like 17. <laughs> <laughs> nah, actually, it's my birthday today, so Happy birthday, man. Thank you, man. I right. turned 25 today, so it's the greatest gift ever to live with you. It's hey, the best it's, birthday ever. <laughs> I feel extremely honored. I mean, if that's a gift for you on your birthday, look, that makes me feel extra special. And you really are extraordinarily big and talented at 25 years old. You look thank you. at least 35. <laughs> I, yeah. Not in a bad way. You look like you're, you know, in your prime already. Yeah, you know? but many guys say that. Like yeah. that, I look older. I, I mean, I do. Yeah. So did you have like a full beard at like 15 or something? No, actually, I have like for two years. Only two years. I feel way better with it. <laughs> 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 uh, beard, well, beard so there's hope for me yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm not getting younger. So that's true, and you're not getting old anytime soon. <laughs> Anyways, man, happy birthday again. Thank happy you, birthday. thank you. Okay. Wrapping up today's video here with Jacob, yeah. Czech giant. Also, Golem is also a Czech giant. And of our course, yet another Czech giant. Only the giants come through to buy some Czech, I see. Yeah, that's why I get to visit <laughs> Czech Republic, man. I'm gonna fit there, which is perfect. <laughs> yes. Um, we wrapped up three sets of, like, eight to 12 on squats. Uh, hit two PR, rep PRs. Yeah, yeah. Um, rep PRs are great, you know? Because they're a lot safer, and they still build a great foundation for the one and, and triples and fives. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's actually going for a classic geek this year, which I think, uh, looking <laughs> at you in this condition, you have a fighting chance. Young we'll man. see. Yeah. Like I've never tried diet or like re really cut it. Yeah. So I don't know. How I'm gonna react to it, but I gotta try. It. I gotta try it. Of course. Uh, I think like C bomb reigning champ right now, like six foot one. Yeah. Right, so like yeah. classic guys tend to be a bit on the tall side, maybe six two. Don't quote me on that. I know it's not accurate. I'm just making. I know it's over six foot tall. Yeah. Uh, but you are definitely on the tallest side. Yeah. Uh, not that it's a bad thing. But there's there's a weight limit. I yeah. Mean, 
Chris Bumstead is like 240, 245 on, on, on stage, stage. Right. I believe. So I gotta cut down like 40 pounds, I believe, like fat and water. I'm not sure, maybe it's, it's gonna be just fine. It's gonna be a journey, no doubt, yeah. no doubt. Yeah. I mean, my favorite part about bodybuilding journey in general is just looking in the mirror every morning and you yeah. see more lines, more definition, <laughs> face gets slimmer, you look younger, you know? Yeah. It's like we all have a fountain of youth inside of us and it kind of shows when yeah, you start cutting down. I'm excited down. for it, I'm excited for it. Yeah. But you, you tried it, you know, five yeah. months. Yeah, it's, it's tough, yeah. but it's rewarding, it's very rewarding. Yeah. For me, get the on stage and posing part wasn't my thing. I just like the, the process. Yeah, what, what I find the hardest, I mean, when we lift, in powerlifting, you breathe through your, through your stomach. Right. But when you're posing, you can't really breathe through your stomach. Yes. And I gotta relearn to breathe through my lungs, not through my stomach, because when I do like the uh, abs, you can't really do like the breathing to it, and <laughs> it was true. tough. So I gotta learn it properly. But yeah. posing is tough. Posing is tough. Yeah, I find it harder than actually training, but I don't enjoy it. Yeah. You know, so if you don't enjoy it, it's gonna feel like misery. Yeah. You know, if you don't enjoy it. So, anyways, uh, go check him out. His YouTube channel is quite active. Nice following. Um, yeah, it's all in Czech, right? The language yeah, yeah. Is all yeah, Czech language. But well, good luck. <laughs> if you're going to and you wanna watch the channel, but still, nonetheless, link below. And uh, peelstuff.com for grab shows using belt, camel belt, and red. Sold out now, but it'll be back. And we'll see you guys very soon. Yeah, and thank you for the opportunity. I really, really enjoy it. So hey, thank, thank you for you. being on the channel today. Thank and you. tomorrow for arm wrestling. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to destroy you, man. All right. Want to put some money on that? <laughs> <laughs> Thousand dirham, perhaps? <laughs> right. Okay. Thanks. Because, yes. Thousand dirham. <laughs> I actually don't know how many thousand. Uh, what is the unit? Yeah. Uh, Durham's. Durham's. I don't know how many. It's, uh, it's like two hundred eighty-five dollars, roughly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have like we have check crowns. You know? Crowns. I've heard. Yeah. I've heard but it's it. like one dollar is like twenty-five check crowns. Ooh, that's difficult math. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Thank you. It was great. Really enjoyed it. All right, Jacob. My pleasure. Yeah. And see you tomorrow for uh, torture. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>